Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Student, in our previous session, we have seen that how we can implement the location based services as well as that what do we mean by the geocoding and the reverse geocoding. Now, it's time to learn about that how can we implement the Google map actually in our program. So, once again everyone, welcome to the video lecture series. This is your instructor, Janice Shah. So let's begin to understand that how can we integrate the Google map by opening a project which does not contain the Google map activity by default. But whenever I'm going to open up my project, I'm just going to select the empty activity and then click on the next button and open the project. So see the, the year when I uh, when I have shown you the very first practical or I can say when, when we have seen that to generate the API key and integrate in our project, what we did? We just click on the Google map, okay, activity and click on the next and open the project. Then we get a file like get API key underscore .xml file, okay, but it is automatically generated. The map fragment is automatically generated. But now, what if we want to make a map in our existing project or if we want to integrate map in our existing project, then what to do? Let me show the example for that. So students, uh, to using the empty activity, what is our goal today's example? For today's example, our aim is to get the current location and set our marker over there with animate camera effect. For this, you just need to go to the particular link which is written over here. It's a like developers.google.com slash map slash documentation slash android dash sdk config. Let me just show you. Okay. See, this is the URL students. So it is already written that if you want to setting up an existing android studio project, that means if you want to setting a map in existing uh, android studio project then what you need so for these students what you need you just need to enter this particular metadata okay and then below of that it is also written over there you just need to add this particular library and you need to add the dependency as com.google.android.gms play services map 17.0.1 so in this my particular project, let me first open the build.gradle files. I have already added the two dependencies which is known as Google Maps locations and maps. So here the maps and location both libraries are already there. Okay. And then what you need to do, you just need to add some metadata over here. So first we need the three basic permissions. Okay, the number one permission is access find location. Number two is all about the internet. And number three is access course location. So here I have already added all three permissions. And now let me just move towards and follow the instructions given by this particular page. So it is written over there. What I need to do, I just need to add this particular metadata over here. So let me just copy this particular code and paste it over here so see when i paste this code it is already show me like one two four five one triple zero how because it is written over that at the rate integer slash google dash play services dash version so students this file is automatically created where where so you can see uh, okay so it is already created inside the values.xml file where one integer tag is there and I have written the code over here. See, I didn't create it. I just uh, copy and paste this particular code, metadata code over here. And students, I have already just copied and pasted over here and the code is automatically generated. It is fetched from the particular location services play services file. Now, next, what I need to add? I just need to add this particular HTTP legacy file. If you want to add some uh, app is targeting the API level 28, then you must need to include this particular legacy library. So I have already added it over here. Fine. So I just added the metadata for this and this. Now what's new? 
so here you just need to add the api key my api key is already written over here so i just i have already added like metadata in api key so the code is already written over there c the particular how to generate the api key and setting up the api key using api key so this is a guide for this so now you just need to add the particular api key over there so this is a code okay and then you just need to add this particular metadata in your project that is known as google classes wait a minute so now all three classes and integer values are defined the number one is a user library number two is a api key and number three is a version okay now is there anything left over here no nothing so now i am ready for my designing part see when you try to open a very first activity underscore main file students you just have only one thing and that is known as a constraint layout so let me just open the another activity and show you that how you can remove it and integrator map over here remember this is just a demo wait a minute activity so it's an empty activity empty activity two okay Till then, let me just show you this particular project. So, students, what is over here? We just found the constraint layout. So, I am just going to remove this constraint layout, okay? Because I don't like it very much. So, instead of that, let me just take the relative layout, okay? Wait a minute. So, it's a control space and relative layout. Now, inside the this particular relative layout, students, I am just going to take a fragment. Always remember, this fragment should be the type of the map support fragment. Let me show you the code for that. See, here this is a fragment where I want to show my map in the full screen. That's why it's a match parent and match parent. I have already given it to the ID that is some maps. And then students, the class name is android name is com.google.android.gms.maps dot support map fragment see this particular map fragment is should be added over here so we just need to add a fragment and inside it need to add a class for that that is our support map fragment fine now what next about the main activity of java file see the very first thing you just need to do is to create the object of support map fragment so another class that we are going to use to fetch the current location of the client that is a fused location provider client then we have already seen that in the permission block we are giving some permissions this is a request code is nothing but it's a permission code over there see first we need to check the, about the permission whether the user already given the permission to access the location or not if it is not granted the permission, then we need to ask them. Otherwise, we need to go out. Uh, we just need to get back from the code. So map will not load. Okay. Now next, inside the on create method, what we need to do? We first need to bind the support frag map fragment object. So here the support map fragment, the get support fragment manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot maps. If you want to see here the map is nothing but it's an ID of the particular fragment. Now let me just show you the next code. So here if I am just going to remove this part then it will show you some error. You need to just typecast this particular code into the support map fragment. So now after that we just need to create the object of client. How to create the object of client students? We are going to extend the, we are going to use the services of the location services. So here's the location services dot get fuse location provider the client main activity dot this. And then first we need to check whether the permission is granted or not. See, the condition is if the activity compact dot check self permission. So activity compact dot check self permission, this method is used to check for the permissions. That permissions we have already written inside of our manifest file. Now, so here if the permission for the access location is granted, then what to do? Then you just need to uh, fetch the current location. So for the particular current location, I have uh, created a method which is known as get current location. Fine. Now, in the else of part, we just need to ask the, for the permission again. So that is 
activity compact dot request permissions main activity dot this comma new string array of permissions so here i just need to pass the permission array that means manifest dot permissions dot access find location and then pass the request code for that so here see if you want to see the particular code and it is written over there see so here you just need to pass the request code after the comma okay and now let's move further so here i am just so my particular on create method is completed and now i am not need to write the get current location method so in the get current location method students first we need to also check the particular permission again okay and here we need to check for the permission for the both uh, manifest file sorry the find location and the course location both if the both permission is not granted see it's a not equal to granted it's not equal to is equal to is equal to granted like this when it's a not equal to granted then what to do we just need to get back so in the current location we again need to check over there whether the permission is granted or not we not if it is not granted then we need to get back from there and then then let's write a code to fetch the current location of the user so here the task location okay then client dot get task location so get last location is a method which returns the last longitude and long, longitude of the particular user so it returns the latitude and longitude for the user so we just need to implement a method which is known as task dot add on success listener see if successfully you get a particular location then this method is called so on success what we need to do if location is not null if location is not null then just set the on call the on map ready method okay so on map ready callback method is we need to call like support fragment dot get map async in the bracket we just need to call a method like a new on map ready callback and then write a method like a public word on map ready google map google map see this all things will be automatically get uh, like this see support fragment dot get map async new when you click over there you just have to implement this whole method so this all code is automatically get ready you do not need to worry about it just need to write like get map async method and android studio give you the all task so let long let long so let long is a class this is the object is equal to new let long from which we need to find the let long from the locations fine so from the location here we are just going to find a uh, location dot get latitude and location dot get longitude students always remember it is returning you the last location of the user now marker options are there like marker options marker options is the new marker options dot position let long dot title lgit demo location always remember this title is nothing but is a title of the particular marker when you click on the marker it will show you some uh, message over there that is known as a title of a marker so now we just need to set a mark i have already set the marker over there then we just need to uh, call a method over like animate camera which is used for the zoom the current location so google map dot animate camera camera update factory dot new let long zoom let long comma zoom font in google map dot add marker so by using this particular method students we can just add a marker over there by using the particular method we can uh, animate the map okay while it just loading then it will animate and zoom it and show you the current location so we just need to add a marker like google map dot add marker marker option to show info window on the bottom of that we just need to check the on permission request results because whenever we try to implement the permission over there we need to override this particular method Where the request code is given, permission is there, and grant details three errors are there. First, if the request code is equal to is equal to request code, then just need to check whether the grant result dot length is greater than zero, and the grant result is equal to package manager dot permission granted. Then just need to find the get current location. Else, write that like permission is denied. Fine. So this code is all about to implement the Google Map. in the empty activity or we can say in the project which is already exist now let me run this particular code and show you the output first and it will show you the correct output see this is a lgit demo location okay 
Now let me just change the name. Go inside the main activity dot Java file and change the name just as uh, my new location. Run the app again. Stop and start. See, like show me like as a my new location. This is a marker pointer. So just like the students, you can change your like uh, marker title as well. So you can like this. So now, if you have any doubt in this session, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.